It's a wonder of nature that how this tiny little larva can produce most demanded and comfortable cloth in the world. It all began 5,000 years ago in China, when some ladies accidentally discovered a way to get the silk thread from the cocoon. As time went by, this fabric has established itself as an industry. Let's see how silkworms are raised for silk harvesting. It all starts with mother silkworm laying 400 eggs in a shot. These eggs are so small that they are barely seen by the naked eye. In about 14 days, the eggs begin to hatch into larva, and these larva only eat fresh mulberry leaves for the entire phase. Once they reach the final stage, or the fourth instar, the pupa phase of their life cycle starts. At this point, the larva emit raw silk liquid from its salivary glands. When this liquid silk comes in contact with air, it dries and becomes the silk thread. The larvae wrap itself in this thread, which is called a cocoon. To extract the thread, these cocoons are boiled in hot water for three minutes. Boiling dissolves the sticky protein which tends to bind the thread. It also kills the pupa inside, which is important, because the pupa later becomes a moth, and if a moth tries to exit the cocoon, it will break the thread from multiple places, which means less thread, less fabric, and less profit. Thread from multiple cocoons is attached to a spinner which rotates and extracts the silk slowly and forms a much thicker thread. But the small-scale home industry cannot fulfill the demand for silk, so the large-scale factories are also established. The harvesting technique remains the same, it's only the scale which has changed. The thread is then handed over to the looms, which ultimately creates the silk fabric. And one more thing, some cocoons are left untouched so that pupae can evolve into a moth. These moths will reproduce and their population won't be affected. So, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See ya!